That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Wow, those words. Even 50 years later, the footage gives you goosebumps. This week marks a half century since the moon landing, a feat thought impossible even as it was being accomplished. And making it happen required not only courage, but intelligence, ingenuity, and nerves of steel. Denver 7's Sean Toll had the opportunity to speak with a legend who embodied all those traits as he guided that mission from Earth. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. It was 50 years ago Tuesday that Apollo 11 launched into space and headed towards the moon. And after four days in space, the time had come. I had the responsibilities for the lunar landing. Gene Kranz was the flight director and mission control that day. We copy you down, Eagle. We have 12 minutes from the time we start down until the time we land on the moon. And there's an awful lot of critical events that have to happen at that time. This is video of Kranz at the helm. We had communications problems right from the very beginning. I have a controller that indicates we've got a, another trajectory aberration radio. And this basically is tilting the orbit. And then, just like a Hollywood movie, fuel was running low. I say, holy cow, we normally would have landed by now. And then pretty soon it's 30 seconds. And then I get the call. About the time I was expecting 15 seconds, we recognize that the crew has just landed in the moon. And literally in mission control, the viewing room behind me erupts and cheering and noise and pounding and everything else. But Kranz couldn't yet. Got sort of unhappy because I just yelled to settle down until finally two hours after we've landed, my team can join in the rest of the world in the celebration. Once he could celebrate, he was so proud of his team and their role. And out of that, he felt a great deal of patriotism and a philosophy he says the country should take going forward. What America will dare, America can do. And I think that's, that's really the kind of guideline that we have to set out for some of these allegedly impossible problems. They're impossible if you believe they're impossible. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Tranquility. We copy you on the ground. Sean Toll, Denver 7. Wow. And for those of you wondering, yes, Krantz is the same cool under pressure, tireless leader portrayed by Ed Harris in Apollo 13. So great. Oh, gosh, so that's great. Bad. What a great moment in history. Yeah.